culinary epicenters of the state, the city of Hattiesburg. I say hidden because it often gets overshadowed by nearby New Orleans, Louisiana, obviously a larger tourist and foodie destination. Then there's the Mississippi Gulf Coast, which has countless casinos and seafood restaurants to draw people in. And of course, Mobile, Alabama, which is best viewed from underground. But I'm not here to talk about the Hattiesburg food scene this time around. That will have to be its own episode. Instead, I'm talking about the Hattiesburg football scene. I joined my bescrubbed friend Steve on an unofficial visit to the University of Southern Mississippi, home of the Golden Eagles, coached by former National Indoor Football League superstar Will Hall. A lot of my family is from the area and are rabid USM fans, so it's always held a special place in my heart, even though it's not my preferred college football team. And the team has gone through some dark years recently, but seems to be on the verge of a resurgence thanks to the work of Mr. Hall. With this in mind, I decided to accompany Steve in what would be my first USM football game since I was probably a little boy. Upon first arriving in the Hub City, a nickname given to Hattiesburg because it serves as a hub between Lamar County and Forest County, we did make one pit stop at the Keg and Barrel for a pregame snack. Keg and Barrel is, in my extremely overconfident opinion, the best pub style bar in the entire state of Mississippi. It has long served as an outstanding place for libations and food and has been the local center for the American Outlaws, the supporter group of the U.S. men's national soccer team. All of that being something that most Mississippians don't know or care about. At Keg and Barrel, we indulge in a simple treat known as the debris fries. And for those of you who don't know, debris is a good thing in this situation. It's the name given to the roast beef shavings you collect when you carve up a roast beast. And the fries in the name is a reference to a delicacy known in these parts as French fried potatoes. All of this is topped with cheese and served with horseradish sauce, which is fine. I, I don't know, I, I don't think horseradish is my thing. Afterwards, we ventured to M.M. Robert Stadium, also known as The Rock, named after the 1996 movie starring Nick Cage and Sean Connery. Before venturing inside, we ran into a significant number of my cousins, James, William, Rick, and Joseph. Not to be confused with me. I have a cousin named Joseph. He has the same name as me. He's the one on the left. I'm the one in the middle. This was a pleasant surprise considering hardly any of these cousins actually live near enough to USM to get to games very often. In fact, my cousin James lives in Arizona, which I'm no mathematician, but according to my best estimates, is not close to Hattiesburg. Bumping into so many of them continued the tone of what was already a fun evening and ramped things up just a little bit more. My preferred game day snack when I go to a college football game, regardless of what game it is or who is playing, is roasted peanuts. A great amount of discussion arose within the group that we had seats with about boiled versus roasted peanuts, and I understand it. This is a heated debate. For me, though, I'm always going to side on the roasted peanut side for reasons that I can't comprehend and I have zero desire to try to explain to you, let me live my life. At halftime, Steve and I located a food truck hiding deep within the corridors of The Rock. Nelly's award-winning chicken tenders. Every place that specializes in chicken tenders serves a signature sauce, and most of the time, at least in the South, it's a variation of a comeback sauce. However, Nelly's was a little bit different. There was something about it that was less like a comeback and a little bit more like a honey mustard with maybe a bit more of a barbecue sauce thickness to it. I don't know, I can't explain it. I couldn't put my finger on what exactly it was. The point is, ever since that night, I've been trying to dissect and think through what that delectable sauce could have been, and it haunts me to this day. And that is one of the biggest compliments that I think I can pay to anybody. College football on a Thursday night can be a hit or miss event to take part in. You probably just had an entire work day, then you had to leave and go take part in something that might last till midnight and might frustrate you if you're a fan, and then you have to get ready to drive back home and go back to work the next day. You don't get a rest buffer. You don't get a weekend in this situation. It can sometimes take more energy to enjoy a midweek game than the excitement of watching a game can make up for. But that wasn't the case tonight. It was an exciting game, and it was an awesome time with my cousins who I don't get to see very often and my good friend Steve who just enjoys having a good time. It's easy to overcome those strange and unique obstacles that midweek football can present you with and it's easy to enjoy and embrace the fun of it all. All you really need are some good people around you, some good friends and family, and maybe an extra order of that Nelly sauce to top it all off.